Imagine you have been driving a Volvo tractor trailer truck for three years. Day and night, you're in the truck. You even sleep in the truck. If you're lucky, you get to shower every other day. That's what Allison, now a shuttle driver for Deacon Station, and her fiance Terry did for over three years. If you're Allison, a little excitement along the way in the form of snow, wind, and old money may not be such a bad thing. Yeah, we worked together years ago. He drove there. I did not. I worked in the office. But I, because he drove, so I decided to go get my CDL. We were going up through the top of the United uh -huh. States. 2010, uh -huh. probably that winter. And so you were you driving to North Dakota or just through it? Going, going through North Dakota. We were... I'm not sure exactly. I can't remember exactly which. We were going west. But yeah, it was out there. It's not like here. There's no trees. So when you get on those highways, uh -huh. it, the snow, it blows. And it'll blow you off the road. So when the wind gusts get up so high, you have to get off the road. And that's what they had shut down the interstate. You gotta just get off the road. You gotta stop. Uh -huh. Because when you're going, that's what you're gonna blow over. Okay. So if you're stopped somewhere, it's not gonna blow you as bad. But I know if you're going like so many miles an hour, the faster you go, the harder worse the easier it is to get blown over because i've seen tons of trucks blown over in the median so we we got probably probably about eight o'clock that night they closed it down uh -huh. and then by the next morning when we went to take off which was like seven that's when we were frozen he had to sit there and just rock the truck back and forth rock yeah that's how you eat uh -huh. up you're like Ugh. that's what we had to do until we moved We've been followed the whole time, plus it was a tractor uh -huh. and a truck. They don't let you know what's back uh -huh. there, and they seal it. And when we got there, they opened it up, and you saw all these stacks of money. And it was probably about 10 pallets. I mean, my eyes were like, oh. <laughs> That's my most interesting part. We carried uh, money to Texas to be destroyed. It's very boring. That's the one thing I didn't like about it either, because like when you deliver your load, Michael, you sit for two, three days waiting for another load. Of course, we had like, you know, movies to watch and stuff, but it's very boring. I hated it. I love this job. It's, it's way better. That's actually how I got this job, because I had my CDL. I couldn't ask for better. It's the only bad thing. Y'all are going to be my third class to leave me, and I do. I get attached really.